Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Sam, Instagram strategist, educator and the owner of socialsidekick.net, a membership website where I provide small business owners with monthly social media caption templates. I'm super excited that you're here today because I'm going to be talking about the most effective ways to manage social media on multiple platforms. So let me rewind a little bit and tell you about my beginnings. So I started my social media career as a freelance social media manager and as I started gaining more and more clients and the work started piling up, I had to figure out little tips and tricks along the way in order to become more efficient and to be able to take on more clients. I learned these tricks while working as a social media manager for seven years and I have to say that they saved me tons of time and energy and I'm pretty certain they will do the same for you. So if you're tuning in today and want to hear all about the hacks, tools, tricks and the tactics that will help you learn how to be as efficient as possible without sacrificing quality, then keep on watching. We all know that creating content and managing multiple accounts is one of the most time consuming tasks in our businesses. And as business owners, we want to be as efficient as possible with our time and effort. So one of the things that takes up most time is content creation. And one of my favorite ways to save time is by cross posting content. Now, cross posting can be an amazing strategy if you're doing it right, but it can also be a disaster if you're doing it wrong. So what is cross posting? It means creating a piece of content and posting it across all social media platforms. The idea of making one high quality post and simply pushing it to all possible social media networks is very tempting because you save lots of time and your accounts are updated. But if you don't do it correctly, you'll run the risk of getting results that might look careless and unintentional. Some social media platforms even have automatic cross posting integrated within their own apps. Instagram, for instance, offers you an option to simultaneously post to Facebook, Twitter and even Tumblr when you publish a new photo. So because of this feature, cross posting makes it easier for you or those in charge of your social media accounts, but it does come with a huge set of drawbacks. First of all, it looks unprofessional. As you probably may know, each social media platform has different characteristics. So what works best for one platform won't work well for another. Instagram, for example, relies heavily on hashtag usage, but doesn't allow links to be a part of the post. So just pushing the post to other platforms might look like you don't know the characteristic of each platform, or you just didn't take the time to edit and adjust. It can come across as lazy or even worse, robotic. So if your followers see the exact same piece of content on two or more platforms, it might leave a bad impression on them and you don't want that for your brand. Second of all, pushing the same post to all social media accounts will hurt your engagement. Many of your followers likely follow you on multiple platforms. So when a person is online and first sees one of your posts, let's say for example on Instagram, and they like and comment, and then a couple of moments later, they see the same post that was posted on Facebook. They're likely not going to engage on Facebook too, unless they're really excited about your post. Another thing that you have to take in account that will also hurt your engagement is that people will see that the post was pushed from another platform and therefore they will be less likely to engage because your followers will get the feeling that you're not actually present on that particular platform at the moment. So the time you save by automatically cross posting isn't worth losing your audience's respect and I would definitely not recommend it. Cross posting with slight adjustments, however, is a completely different story. I'm talking about customizing each post for the social media platform that you're active on. So creating one piece of content and edit it to fit all the other platforms. This strategy allows you to speak with the tone of voice of the platform you're posting on, then get the greatest amount of engagement for your posts, take advantage of the tools like tags and hashtags, avoid looking unprofessional and also adjust the form. Your posts will also sound human and relatable rather than something automatic and robotic. The only downside to this strategy is that the process is pretty much impossible to automate, which means it will take up a lot more time and resources to pull off. But you can create systems and there are also some amazing tricks that will help you save tons of time and make it way easier for you. Alright, so another easy trick is to post at different times. 
So every platform has an optimal time to post, which is when your followers are more active and that's the best time to post for your account. You can usually find this information in the analytics sections of your accounts. If the content is not time sensitive, then I would suggest you wait at least a few days before posting it to the other platforms or maybe even a week. This way you avoid putting out a flood of posts at the same time and the same person seeing the same posts while scrolling through social media. And you're also maximizing your engagement by posting at optimal times when your followers are most active. Another thing you should perfect if you're managing more than one account is repurposing content. I would suggest creating workflows for all of the platforms you're active on and create the plan to make the most out of each piece of content. Easiest way to do that is to write down the social media platforms you're active on and what kind of content you're going to create and how you're going to repurpose it to other social media platforms. It's important that you plan ahead and do it intentionally. The good thing about planning ahead is that you'll be able to take that into account while creating content. So for example, if you know a photo will be posted on Instagram's feed and on Facebook's stories, it has to be able to fit a square and a vertical crop at the same time. So taking a photo for, from a wider angle would be a great idea. So if you plan that you're going to be repurposing one piece of content with a few adjustments on all other platforms, it makes things way easier. So let me give you a few examples of cool ways to repurpose content. You can use an IGTV, which is a vertical video, edit it into shorter sections and post it to Instagram stories, TikTok, Facebook stories and YouTube stories if you have a YouTube channel. Then for example, you can create one poll and post it to IG stories with a sticker then post the same poll on Facebook with Facebook poll feature and the same thing on Twitter. So then there are Instagram's carousel posts when you can post one sequence of 10 images and then turn the same images into a video slideshow on Facebook and even post it as a PDF on LinkedIn. As far as the text goes, you can first create a blog post then with a few adjustments you can turn it into a newsletter and then use the similar content for an Instagram caption. So there are numerous ways you can repurpose content. You just have to create the workflows according to what type of contents you like to produce and which platforms you're active on. Aside from that, there are also many tools that can help you manage multiple social media platforms more efficiently. One of them is an image resizer by promo.com, which has an option to upload and resize images for all social media platforms in a click of a button. So you can actually just upload the image and choose which platform you need the photo for and download. So the other one I like is a video resizer called CapWing, which is the same thing, but for cropping and trimming the videos. How it works is that you just upload a video or paste the link then choose a platform that you want the video dimensions to fit to. So for example, YouTube, Instagram stories, Facebook, or any other, and just resize. So the next tool I recommend is wave.co and it's for creating social media posts for your audio content. So you can just upload your audio and choose an image or a graphic design with a little sound wave animation. So there are some templates you can choose from, but you can also create your own design. Another tool I would recommend is for simulcasting live streams and it's called Caster. Now this tool will enable you to stream your lives to all of the platforms that have live features at the same time. So Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and LinkedIn Live. The cool thing about this tool is that it has integrated comments. So you'll get all of the comments from the different platforms in one place. So these are some tools that will definitely help you cut your time in half. Along with these tools, I would definitely suggest using UTMs, which are short codes added to your link that will help you track the performance of a web page or a campaign, or in this case, social media posts. Another thing to think about while managing different platforms is frequency of the posts. So there is an unwritten rule for every platform for how often you should post. So whereas it's okay to post up to a few times per day on Twitter, doing the same thing on Facebook might drive away your fans. 
Overposting can be counterproductive and will cross that fine line between being informative and becoming an annoyance. So make sure you keep that in mind while creating your content calendar. All right, so my next trick for managing multiple accounts is posting the same caption, but just with a slightly different photo. So the photo can be from the same photo shoot, the same product and the same setting, just maybe a different angle. So when you're doing a photo shoot, make sure you have plenty of images of the same setting, just maybe slightly different angles. Also, keep the different dimensions in mind during the photo shoot to avoid cropping in the weird spots later. If you're going to hire a photographer, make sure to instruct him or her to keep the different dimensions in mind while taking photos, so you don't have to struggle with cropping it in weird places later. All right, so the next trick is to address the platform you're posting on. So if you want the caption to appear more native to the platform, just address it at the beginning of the caption, like for example, hey Instagram or what's up Facebook, and then just continue with the caption. Your followers will instantly get the feeling that you're talking directly to them and that will immediately establish the connection. Which brings me to my next tip, which is know your social media platforms. You'll have to adjust your captions a little bit depending on the language of each platform. Otherwise, you'll never be able to establish a real connection with your followers. Every social media platform has a certain tone of voice you have to consider while creating the content. Some are more formal than the others. There are also character limitations that you have to keep in mind and the features they provide because that's the only way you can make the most out of each post. So speaking the language of the platform is really important, but also things like caption length and the image format. Sharing the exact same post on all of the platforms might mean that you will accidentally end up inviting your followers to DM you on Facebook or click your link on Instagram. All right, so we've covered creating and posting content, but that's just one part of the job. When managing many different platforms, there's also answering messages, doing analytic reports, and so on. So while you have to avoid any signs of automatization to the outside world, aka your followers, I would definitely suggest automating the backend tasks like analytics, answering questions, and scheduling as much as possible. Another thing that will help you out big time are templates. And I mean templates for everything, social media plan, graphic design, comments, reports, and everything else you can think of. Social media content calendar will help you plan and schedule all of your social media content in advance and make things way easier for you. You can also create graphic design templates. If you don't have a graphic designer and you do the graphics yourselves, you can create a catalog of brand templates for each social media platform and different types of posts. For example, reviews, giveaways, and so on. You can easily create them with a tool like Canva and switch the dimensions in a click of a button. Another tool that will help you save tons of time are caption templates, like the ones you can get at socialsidekick.net, where you'll get 30 monthly prompts for your niche, and you'll just be able to fill in the blanks and add your brand's touch. All right, so I hope I gave you some amazing ideas on how to cross promote social media content to different channels and inspired you to streamline your workflows. You can find me at underscore social Sam underscore on Instagram and on my website, socialsidekick.net. Thanks for watching and I'll see you there. Bye.